This place, the Residencia de Estudiantes, was created, was founded in 1910. It was created to improve the higher education of Spanish students. They decided to imitate Oxford and Cambridge. There was a traffic, an intellectual traffic, very, 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 very important at that time. Stravinsky, Poulenc, Ravel, they came here. Many uh, scientists, professors, uh, poets, musicians from all over Europe came here. After the Civil War, nothing was left. In 86, a group of people, we decided to try to recover this project, what was the Residencia before the war. Now the Residencia has many different activities. In first, we are a hotel uh, for um, people working in, in science, creators, artists, people related to the university with the scientific research, people from all over the world. It's a, it's a very nice place, so when you need peace and uh, to work fully on something, it's also very interesting that uh, you don't stay only with physicists. So for instance, one of the, the guys who is staying here is a writer, another one is a poet, there's an archaeologist, a mathematician. So you get a, in an environment where you can get this big picture and you don't focus only on what you're doing and say, okay, what I do is the most important thing. Every week there, there's conferences and stuff, and sometimes there's concerts, there, there's everything, and uh, a lot of people coming here. We are also organizing exhibitions, and the exhibition which is today is Redes Internacionales de la Cultura Española. And also we have uh, this center of documentation center. We develop research programs. Well, uh, we are very proud of uh, being awarded the, the heritage uh, label because we think the Residencia has been a symbol, it's a symbol of the European values, and we are very honored. And we think it will help to disseminate what is the Residencia in Europe. I think this is a place for this debate.